Hi, crafty friends. You guys, I was at my sister's house over the weekend and she had some of the Mackenzie Child's china. I didn't know this was a thing. She had gotten it as a gift and I fell in love with it. It has like that checkerboard pattern, the white and the black. It has a little bit of gold in there. So I thought, oh my gosh, I had this bowl and plate from the Dollar Tree with the lemons on it that I really didn't know what I was gonna do with it, but I bought it a while back, so now I know. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use our masking tape here just to mark, uh, and I'm putting a little piece in between, so I have the same width. And so we're gonna get those all on in one direction. And then once that's on, I'm gonna take a Sharpie and I'm just going to uh, mark on both sides of the masking tape. So I didn't uh, go over where the design was. Okay, well, I just lied. I did on one of them, but all I did was just take a um, uh, disinfectant wipe and just wiped it right off, so no big deal. But because we don't wanna paint over those, we want that to become a part of our design. So once we get it all done in this direction, we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna do the same thing in the other direction to make that checkered board look. And so when I started painting this, you guys, I just, at first I was gonna do, oh, I'm gonna do it black and then I'll go in and fill in where the white is. But once I started doing the black, I kind of liked how it looked where, cause I used chalk paint, where it looked a little chalky with the black and then a little bit of the brightness of the white coming through. So I ended up just using the black. So that was a little bit of a time saver, which is cool. And then, you know, as I was doing it with the black, it kind of filled in those lines a little bit. And I just kind of took my time. You guys, by no means is this perfect. I have shaky hands because I'm an asthmatic and I have an inhaler and all the things, but I don't care. I love how it came together. So I just took my time and just did, you know, the opposites of it, just kind of making that checkerboard look. Uh, one thing I did do was I moved the plate a lot. And then that way, especially when I was going through where the pattern of the lemons and the leaves are, that way I could really get more control of what I was doing. So definitely move it around, make it work for you. I used a smaller brush just in the little areas where this little, even though this is a small brush, I use a smaller one really just to get into those areas where we're going around the lemons and the leaves. So once we get that completely done, I took some metallic gold and just kind of swished it all around. She has a lot of gold accents in the uh, stuff that my sister had. And so I was like, okay, I can totally do this. And then I was like, oh, let's add a little edge detail to this. And so I took some a rub and buff. And again, this is not perfect. I was just swishing it on there with my finger um, because sometimes I look I like when things look a little haphazard, if that makes any sense. I know everybody's like, oh, I want it to be perfect. I don't. So look how cute this turned out. And again, this is purely decorative, but isn't this the cutest thing? Oh, I love it. All right, friends. Thanks for watching. Follow for more.